Oh, uh, Karen and Marcy, I'd like you to meet Dr. Bailey and Dr. Gray. Mm -hmm. They'll be performing the liver transplant with me today. Nice to meet you. <sighs> this IV really hurts. You think it could be infected? I mean, I'm already missing my family vacation for this. I'd, I'd hate to die of staff. You're not going to die, Marcy. I am the one in liver failure. It doesn't look infected. A little discomfort is normal. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm just nervous. I've never had a major surgery before. But when your sister calls you to come and save her life, I mean, you take that call. How lucky I am to have just that sister. Yes, you are. Well, the labs look good. We're ready for transplant. In the meantime, why don't we relax? Relax? In a hospital? It'd be a lot easier on a white sandy beach. I'm going to reimburse you for this trip. I promise. I just hope I don't die in there. I mean, it would be hard to reimburse me for my life. Thank you, Marcy. I just can't thank you enough. You're welcome. Mrs. Weber? Where is my husband? Do you know where he is? I, I found her on the street. She was trying to walk here. I, I live next door to the Webbers. It's seven miles away. Oh, God. Where is he? I want you to go find him right now. Yeah, I, I will go find your husband. Would you just stand here just for one moment, please? Could you just stay with her until I can talk to Dr. Weber and figure out what to do? I can try. She's pretty insistent. Okay, well, uh, I have an office on the third floor. If you could just... What? Wait, wait, Mrs. Weber? Eight surgeons have said this is inoperable. I mean, even the tumor board at Cleveland Clinic. I can see why. His neuroblastoma is more complicated than most I've seen. It's very rare that someone his age... They're mostly in younger kids, I know. Yeah, it's in a very large region of his spine. There is the very likely risk of paralysis. From his upper body down, there's also the risk of death. A death that he is going to meet in three months anyway if you don't do this surgery. I understand the risks, Dr. Shepard. The surgeon in, in Boston compared it to dismantling a bomb with your eyes closed. And the one in Chicago said it was patching a dam with gum. You're the ninth surgeon I've talked to. So what I want to know is are you going to say anything different? Or do I have to take my kids somewhere else? Hmm.